Don't get me wrong, okay? Normal Nianto is very cool, it's just that there are a lot of better options for PvP. But when it comes to the Awaken Nianto, it's actually pretty freaking great. Okay, well, I guess we'll try Libel versus Libel. Let's actually try and go for Bs here, straight away. IO speed, nice. Ento, too lit. I already got my Bs down. Freckle hurt, doesn't matter. Okay, nice. Uh, we could speed tie. I'm going to try and go for the hit and run if they let me. Okay, quick sting. Okay, never mind. Quick, quick sting li li libel? Hmm? Huh? Okay, okay. I guess we could try and just go into Nianto now. I mean, what is this going to do to me realistically? Yeah, let's just go for Awaken immediately into Body Slam. Actually, thinking about it, they don't really have like many switches in for us. Like, bug, bug. Plant, plant, plant. Okay, lives. I think I l tank a hit low no matter what. I think it went for bees. I, I missed it. I think it went for bees. Um, I we just quick strike here. Okay, quick sting. That's fine. That does no damage because we uh quad resist bug. But nice. Although that does mean we can't Lewis prayer, which is a little unfortunate, you know, a little unfortunate. The Luna switching in. Uh, we can't really do too much to Taluna. Actually, no, we can. Wait, is Taluna not poison type straight away? Oh, normal Taluna is pure plants. Awakened is poison plants. Looking at their team, this is the only thing that could be an Awaken low. Probably not the smartest idea to stay in. But I could just throw off an damage. I think... Uh... Well, actually, which one is stronger, Swarm or Body Slam? I think Body Slam is stronger because I only have two bugs alive. We'll, we'll just try and hit it. Only work turns into poison, but we're really bulky, so I get to tank that. And we just knock it out. Okay, nice. I think we all speed Prickles, and we definitely live Swift Hook. We all speed Squonk. So we can take out two more things. It's just the fast things I'm going to worry about. Yeah, like this should just knock me out here. I can quick sting for neutral, but it's not really going to do much to it from here. We need to weaken it a little bit more. So I think we go Voltatulan. I think maybe Bronk might be better. But I want to go Voltatu to hit and run into Medicrow. Mineral Cannon. That's fine. Yeah, now let's go for the hit and run. I want to go into Medi to remove... Did he set up bees earlier? I feel like he set up bees. Hit and run goes good. Good damage. I mean, I'm gonna go Medicro now anyway. Uh, let's see. Did it actually have... It does have bees, okay. We should be able to get rid of Lowe's. I don't think it'll one-shot us even at plus one. So let's just get rid of them. He stays in. That's fine. Yep. Okay, that's fine. I didn't really do much damage, but that's fine. Uh, I'm actually glad... He didn't go into Polar or Squonk. He could have blocked my Dispose. So, yeah. Really glad he didn't do that. Let's go for Lewis Prayer here. Quick thinking, that's fine. Actually. Probably should have just run off an attack. I'm not gonna lie. Probably should have just run off an attack. Yeah, because I can't really switch now. A uh, plus two Metalytra. Probably does a lot to Volta 2. Probably a lot. We could try Bronze, I guess. We could try Bronze. We Quad Resist, Bug, and Metal, I think. Mineral Cannon. Oh yeah, we, we, we good, we good. And uh, technically, I think now Bronze could actually sweep. Fire, 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 and oh, also fire. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, yeah, something dies. Not complaining about it. Truck with. There's a lot of damage, but yeah, this thing dies now. Okay, Metalytra's down. Love to see it. Uh, I think you have to go Polar here now. I think Polar is the only thing in your team that can outspeed Bronze. Okay, that's also fine. Um... I mean, I'm going to weaken you at the very least. I don't think this will one-shot it, but it should heavily weaken it. Oh, no, 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 no. You have Swift Hook. Well, it clicked Poison Punch. <laughs> nope, it just Poison Punch. I guess he predicted the Voltitude switch. <laughs> okay, uh, yikes. Not good for me. 
Not good for me. I mean, we can just aerial it. Yes, aerial would knock it out. But... But... I want Nyanto to knock it out. You know? Y you know? Counter punch, that's fine. Okay. And even more chip damage. I honestly think Quick Strike should be enough to KO it from Nianto. I'm pretty sure we can live a Swift Hook if it has it. Um, I think we just outspeed it low, so we just click a Body Slam. We could also go for Lewis, but Poison Punch is a thing, so we, we need to Body Slam it. Yeah, and Crick- Okay, that critical hit was like so unnecessary. That was so unnecessary. <laughs> pretty sure it's quad weak to air, <laughs> so yeah. Was not needed. But yeah, here's a polar. I mean, again, uh, we can just click Quick Strike. It does change into an air type move. Um, but I, I have meta. I think I can just go meta. I'm pretty sure. Let's go bronze. Okay. Let's sacrifice bronze. Bronze, we're happy. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate all you've done for us. Never mind you, tank it. Okay. Let's see if we can get you another KO. Uh, actually, I think I might outspeed it. Is Polo like 90 base speed? Well, yeah, I actually outspeed it. Okay, I honestly thought Polo was faster than Bronze. Never mind. I am completely fine with that. And, uh, yeah, Ugly Squonk. Oh no, I can't click Sharpen. What will I ever do? I'll just bonk it. I mean, we might as well have Nyan to get a nuller KO, right? We might as well. Armor Break! Excuse me? Excuse me? Whoa, 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 whoa. This wasn't part of the plan. This was not part of the plan, man. I kind of forgot that Squonk had armor break. Okay, we're, we're fine, though. We're fine. Boo? That's fine. It doesn't have a priority move, right? I'm gonna go Nyan. Um, we're gonna quick strike. We really gotta pray this KOs. I mean, if it, if it doesn't KO, I have Glacy Gash to priority anyway, but I want Nianto to get another KO, right? Come on, Nianto. Okay, nice. That went pretty good. I mean, all it takes is the opponent to have, like, how many weaknesses? One, two, three weaknesses, and I think, like, no resisted hits. So yeah, that's all you need, really. Well, I hopped over to rank battles because, uh, yeah, uh, casual competitive battles just had a lot of metal types, so let's try bronze players. Oh, and we've also swapped over to the offensive Awakened Nianto now, so uh, yeah, we should be able to outspeed uh, a lot more than the defensive one. What the heck does Kaderi do? Ah, oh, flashbang. Okay, that's unfortunate. Uh, do you have another priority move? I want B summon up, please. Because let me get B's up. P please. Please. Let me get B's up. Thank, thank you. Okay, now you can KO me. That's fine. We do lose libel, which means um, my swarm damage does go down by 15 base power, but that's alright. We just go bronze on here, I think, now. Uh, Looking at the team, the most realistic switch that you're going to do is going to Mantis Gold. Uh, so we could actually switch out, I guess, or I can just click Earth Lance, I guess. Yeah, I'll just Earth Lance. Might as well just put on, oh, or, or it's Moss. I guess that's also fine. I guess I could have just gone for a Heat Bash. It would have done neutral damage. That's fine. Uh, oh, it has a wave shot. I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna lose my freaking, um... I'm gonna lose my B summon. Please don't. Please. We can talk about this. We can talk. Oh. That's fine. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Let's just go for. I think we can probably just go for Body Slam. I mean, what is the switch here? I guess we can go for. Or we could also go for Disarm. Remove some items. I don't think this is going to stay in right. Unless it wants to kind of called me, which would suck. Let's actually go for the disarm. I think he's going to switch, and we get to remove something's item at the very least. Or it stays in. Okay. It had sponge. It has kind of called. 
I live it low. We're fine. <laughs> We're fine. Okay. Well, I guess we can just click that again, I guess, right? Just, uh, threaten something's item. I'm surprised you stayed in, but I guess your only switching was really to rumor. And I guess that doesn't really want to take, um, a body slam to the face. Okay, now you switch? Now you switch. What? Why? Okay, well, there's a disarm. What item did you have? Ruby? Okay. Uh, I think you definitely are speed me, so we're definitely gonna go for the withdraw into a vault or two here. Um, and then I think we just click hit and run, and we don't worry about it. But yeah, this arm is so nice, the fact that it, like, changes. Like, you remove items, and you do, you do, like, really big damage. Like, it is such a good move on Nianto Awakens. We go for a hit and run here. We don't think about it. It doesn't really have, like, a switch in for this either. I mean, he has three water types. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, just sacrifices a uh, moss. Okay, we could go back into Nianto. But it's probably not a good idea. We'll... I guess I'll just go Nianto. I'll just go Nianto, why not? We can just always switch. Because I'm assuming... Okay, I was even going to say Kaderi or Tarum is going to switch back in. Okay, Ice and Light. Um, we probably don't really want to stay in against this. It is probably going to tank a hit fairly well. I... Okay, Bronze seems like the best witch in that I have, which is saying something. Flashbang. Yep, that's fine. Okay, we can throw off a, a Shatter here. Moss is gone, so they have like no Earth resistance now. So, Earth Lance! Yay! Oh, he stayed in, and there's an Earth Lance. Guilt does suck, but that's fine. And kind of called. I think we might die. <laughs> I thought we might have lived. We don't. Okay, let's have a look at Kaderi really fast. Oh, it's actually 100 base speeds. This one is not uh, tanky at all. Quick Strike might be enough. Do I want to risk a quick strike? I think I do. It has like 60 defense and 70 health. I'll risk it. I'll risk it. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll risk it. I mean, once we get rid of a uh, Kadera. Oh, we actually do knock it out. Guilt does suck, but that's fine. But now that Kadera is gone, the only thing that can outspeed us is Taruma, unless Erika is like running basically max speed. We have to be careful about Mantis Gold and Priority Low. I, my priority is faster, but you're way too high on health for this, so we'll go Volta 2, predicting the, um... I guess I can actually click any move here, but Rip Current, I guess. Trip Damage, nice. Oh, it's Lethal Ornament as well. Okay, Len. Um, yeah, that was actually great. Let's go for the Hit and Run here. Here yeah, they go for the Withdraw into Taruma. That's fine. Okay, then we can go back into uh, Nianto, and I think we're good. I think we're good. Right? I think. I I think Taruma does get access to Quick Strike as well, but I don't think anybody in their right mind uses it. So I just Quick Strike here. Quick Strike to kill the Taruma. Nice. Now we can click Swarm against Bionotic and Irikill. And the Mantis Gold, we just need to weaken it enough so I can Quick Strike it. Yeah, back into Mantis Gold. You're gonna take more chip damage from the bees. Um, we could risk it. We could risk a Quick Strike here. 80 defense, 60 health. Mm, I think it's a little bit too risky. I think we just go Volta 2 again. I think we just go Volta 2 and just chip it even more. Rip Current again. Okay. Recall damage from spiky fawns, recall from uh, lethal ornaments. Now you're definitely in range of quick strike. Uh, you're only 60 speed, so there's no shot you're gonna outspeed Nine to awaken. Even with max speed, I think we'll be fine, I think. At least I'm praying we are. Here, let's just go for um, hit and run again. I, mean, I think he's just gonna rip front me again. Yeah. Okay, well now he's definitely like one shot. If not, I think he just dies. Okay, he's one shot. Okay, back into Nianto. 
I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. I'm, I'm, I'm really praying that we outspeed it. Imagine if we don't, that would suck. Okay, nice, we got rid of it. Okay, now Iracle and Bionotic. Bionotic is probably Lure Awakened, so they're both going to be pretty bulky. I don't think I can one-shot both of them from full health, even with the B damage. So we might want to go for a little bit of chip damage. The only issue is, if I give the Iracle three turns, it's going to click Warcry on me. Oh, it's actually Nullify. That is fine. Um, let's go into... Oh, okay. I should go Medicrow here. I should go Medicrow. I should. But if I go Glacy Gash and he awakens, I don't have Enfeeble. <laughs> uh, I mean, I really should save Glacy here, but if he awakens, I lose Enfeeble. It isn't Awaken, I guess. Damn it, man. Damn it. Damn it. Uh, I think we actually just outspeed it, so I think we can swarm here. Yeah, that was really dumb, but I mean, if it was Awaken, well, that would have been pretty funny, you know. That would have been pretty funny. We just click a uh, Swarm one. Okay. Oh, it is Awaken. Okay. Well, now that's fine. That is actually really, really fine. The Swarm, it just knocks it out. <laughs> uh, that actually would have been pretty good if he did Awaken, but yeah, he just didn't. I'm actually surprised he uh, didn't immediately. I guess he just didn't want to risk Enfeeble. Which is fair. That that is a really really fair assessment, because um, if I went Medicrow, yeah, he probably should have took my uh, toxic absorb traits. I think honestly, Glacy just wins now, which I'm completely fine with. I mean, Nianto did pretty good, okay, but Glacy just gonna clean up the rest of the game now. Oh, he actually lives. Warcry, I got prior. Oh, but this also has priority. Oh no! Oh no! Iron Slash. That should knock me out, right? Yeah, okay. Um, It definitely has to be with Nianto, but we might as well give it a try, right? We can give it a try. Quick Strike, please. Please. Okay, well, I guess he doesn't have a Shadow Lord Clan. Okay, we take it. We take it. Okay, Len, getting into the sets, let's first go over the bulky offensive one, which we're running a plus 10% health and attack stat modifiers, with the equipment doodad, ornate necklace, and pizza slice to increase mostly my defensive stats with a decent amount of attack too. For the held item, we're running the Nianto runestone so we can awaken. Then moving on to the trait, before we awaken, I'm using the hidden trait for a coat to make it easier for us to switch into the battle if needed, by decreasing the damage of contact moves used against us by 50%, Although it does come with the downside of making fire type moves do double damage against us, so yeah, watch out for those. But then after we awaken, we'll then get the new Your Meow Justy trait, which changes our basic type moves into air type moves and then also increases the damage by 30%, which goes pretty well with, you know, our new air typing. And then finally for the moves, we're running Swarm as our strongest bug stab option, Body Slam as our strongest basic stab option, Quick Strike is great when paired with our new trait, giving us a strong priority move, and our last move I have is Lowest Prayer so I can heal myself and my allies. Although there are some other options like Disarm, Dispose, Taunt, or Be Summon for support, or Reckless Charge, Double Bite, and Venabite for coverage. And now for the offensive set, which we're running a plus 10% speed and attack stat modifier, with the equipment Decorated Hair Clip, Ruby Pendant, and Fluffy Feather to increase my speed and attack stats while sacrificing as little defense as possible. For the held item, we're running the Nianto runestone so we can awaken. And then for the trait, before we awaken, we're running the hidden trait Furco to make it easier for us to switch into the battle if needed by decreasing the damage of contact based moves used against us by 50%, although this does come with the downside of making fire type moves do double damage against us so you know. Watch out for those. But then after we awaken, we'll get the new Your Meow Justy trait, which changes our basic type moves into air type moves and also gives them a 30% damage boost, which goes really well with our new air typing. And then finally for the moves, we're running Swarm as our strongest bug stab option, Body Slam as our strongest basic stab option, although I guess if you want to go out of your way to get a 1 star Nianto, you could try Starbreaker. 
Quick Strike is a great priority move, especially when paired with our trait. And the last move I have is the Sam, which can threaten pretty good damage while also removing items at the same time. Although there are some other options like Dispose if you really want entry hazard removal. And just to mention it, the biggest issue of my Awaken Ianto is that I couldn't really do much against Metal and Poison type Doodles, so I would have the rest of my team either remove them or heavily weaken them before I went into my Awaken Ianto. So you could run some coverage moves like Reckless Charge for Metal, Double Bite and Iron Slash are our only option to hit Poison types for neutral damage. And then we also have Venom Bite and Pursuit as other options as well. 